Hey traders, welcome back to another Prime Script video. So in this video, we're gonna make a Dragonfly Doji Detector Candlestick Pattern Indicator using which you will be able to detect Dragonfly Dojis on your chart like this one as we can see on the chart right here. So without any further ado, let's get started. So before proceeding towards the code, let's understand what Dragonfly Doji actually is. So if I try to draw the Dragonfly Doji, it looks something like this so there will be a very long shadow at the bottom and a very almost negligible small body at the top almost in the top 20 percent so here there is a very small shadow and a very long shadow at the bottom and there is this very small body in theory the opening and closing price for doji candles should be the same but it's rarely the case in most of times there is a very small body and there is a very little gap between the opening and closing price. So this is a valid doji candlestick pattern. And since the body is at the top, this is a dragonfly doji candlestick. The other type would be the gravestone doji, which we will cover in our next video. So in gravestone doji, there is a very small body at the bottom and there's a very long shadow at the top. So now let's get towards the code. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to detect our doji candles only in the oversold regions so when the rsi is below 30 so because of that we will first get the inputs of rsi so let's go ahead and paste the code for that so here we have the rsi setting here we are taking a variable rsi length which we will be getting as 14 and this will be the rsi length that we want to use and then we are defining the oversold region that would be below 30 of the RSI value. So now the next inputs or the next calculations that we have to do is we have to calculate the RSI and we can do that using this code which is RSI is equal to TA.RSI. So TA.RSI is a function that we use in order to calculate the RSI value and this function takes two arguments. The first one is the source and the second one is the length. So in this case we are giving it a source of close and then RSI length, which we have taken input in this case here. The next code that we have to write is we have to define our rules for detection of Dragonfly Doji. So we are going to define our function that will be is the candle our Dragonfly Doji. And then we can go ahead and create a custom function that will detect if a candle is Doji or not. And we can do that by giving a parenthesis here and then we can go downward. So here we will give it our first variable. So we want to calculate the candlestick range because as I showed you that we want to calculate the body percentage should be below 5% of the overall range of the candle. So if the overall range is this, then we want this body to be very, very small, almost negligible. That would be below 50% or below 5% of the overall range of the candle. And the second thing that we want to check is this body lies in the upper half in almost upper 20% of the candle, 20 or 30%. So now let's go ahead and define our rules for that. So first we need to calculate the candle range and that candle range will be calculated using high minus low. Now we want to calculate the body size and this body size is calculated using math.abs function and then we want to calculate whatever the body size of the candle each candle is so we'll use close minus open for this so here you might wonder why we are using math.abs so math.abs function converts any value either it's positive or negative into a positive integer so for example, in case of a bullish candle, we know that close is going to be greater than open. So in this case of bullish candle, this will generate a positive value. But in case of a bearish candle, we know that close is below open. So in this case here, in case of calculating the body size for these kind of bearish candles, this calculation would result in a negative number. So we are using math.abs because we only want to focus on the magnitude of that value. So we are using math.abs to convert that negative into positive and we'll only be taking the 
magnitude of that value. So the next thing we have to calculate is we need to determine the upper shadow of the body. And we can do that by using upper shadow. And here we will calculate it using high minus math.max function. And again, we will be using this math.max to get whether it's a bullish or bearish candle. So we always want to get the upper shadow. And now we want to calculate the lower shadow. And again, we can do that using math.minimum function. And here we will give it open or close whichever minimum is in both cases. And then we can subtract that from the low of the candle. So this will give us the lower shadow of each candle. Now we are going to go ahead and define our rules for detection of the candle. So we want to first, we want to check the body size of the candle is less than 5% of our range. So we are going to give a variable body size is less than or equal to candle range multiplied by 0 0.05. So this will make sure that whichever candle we are working on, the body size of that candle is less than 5% of our range of the candle. The second rule that we have to define is and upper shadow is less than or equal to candle range multiplied by 0 0.3. So this will make sure that this body lies in the upper 30% of the candle. For example, if we have candle like this, so then this rule will make sure that the body lies in the upper 30%. So if this is 100%, the upper 30% would be somewhere around here. So the body lies in this upper 30% of the overall range of the candle. Now let's go ahead and define our last condition. That is we want these, this to be true only when the RSI is oversold. So now we are, we have defined all our levels and here we can go ahead and now plot a label if these conditions are true. So we can go ahead and say if is dragonfly doji, then we want to plot a label. So we are gonna say label dot new. And here we can say X is going to be our bar index and Y is going to be low. And the text we want to show is dragonfly doji candle. And last but not the least, we also give it want to give it a style of label style label up. So we are going to say style is equal to label style label up. Now these are our conditions and we also want the text color to be white. So we are going to say text color is going to be color dot white. So all our conditions have been defined. Let me just give you a more clear look at the code. So here you can see all our conditions are defined and now we can save it and add this to the chart. So now let's look for any candles it might have detected. As you can see here, the indicator is showing us this Dragonfly Doji candle that has been detected and it meets all our rules. Just to verify if this is in over, overbought or oversold condition, we can go ahead and apply the over, uh, RSI value indicator. So we are gonna say indicators and RSI. So we can see the RSI value at this candle is actually in the oversold region that is below 30. So this is how you detect the Do Dragonfly Doji candlestick using the Pine script. In our next video, we'll be talking about the Gravestone Doji. It will be very similar, so it will be a very short video, but it will contain explanation of the things that we need to know. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I would love to answer them. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.